Brian, we received your sample material in, and after discussing your project with Bob Tipman, uh, he and I did decide that the steel rule die would probably be the way to go. As we discussed, the steel rule die is a die that's mounted in wood. It has a .937 high rule. It has ejection foam in the die to eject the material out. This die also allows you to have retractable registration pins built into the die, which is nice for use if you're doing printed material. With that type of die, in that setup, you would have your polyethylene cutting board mounted to the top. Here we have it clamped to the top, but there are mounting holes on all four corners of the press to mount the cutting board. The way this would work, you would design the die with the, printed, uh, with the uh, cavities to cut out from our printed material. And I'm just going to cut about three or four sheets. You actually get a pretty decent cut with three or four sheets. I wouldn't do any thicker than that, though. You would align your paper, get your registration pins, slide the die in. And you get a nice clean cut. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll send these cut samples back to you. Now the next type of die, as you, you and I discussed, was the forge die. Now again, the forge die will allow you to cut a larger stack of paper, but it does limit you to one cavity. Uh, you and I had talked about possibly more than one cavity, but again, after talking with Bob Tipman, really one cavity is the best way to go with a forge die. And I'll demonstrate that for you and also send you the cut samples back there. So the way that would work, you would have the cutting board on the bottom this time. You would set your material down and then set your die on top of the material. Now in this case, you would actually align it by eye since there are no registration pins. So you put the, the die on the material, slide it in. Click it out. You get a nice clean cut, and uh, I'll let you be the uh, decision maker on this. I'll send both samples back to you, and I'll give you a call tomorrow. Thank you. Yes.